Hi guys, this is Thundi from Motor Work, and here's a quick video on the new OneDrive. So OneDrive is basically SkyDrive rebranded and with a few other features added to it. So it's been updated across the board to say OneDrive on Android um, as well as Windows Phone and iOS. So a couple of features that you do have here is that you do now have automatic uploading to uh, to OneDrive uh, from your smartphone for your photos. So that will give you an extra three gigabytes of storage. So I suggest you turn it on because when you get OneDrive, you get uh, seven gigabytes of free storage. So if you turn the automatic um, uh, upload feature, you get an extra three. You can actually turn it off. So that's something that you can do in the settings. So let's take a look at the Android uh, version first. Keep that on the side. So you can see I jumped into a folder here. I can look at all my various uh, photos. And you can see I can create a folder within it. By tapping the folder button here, I can upload to this folder, uh, upload video or photos, and I can refresh the folder. And I've got um, a listing of how to view it, either in list view or tabulated. And if I head back, this is my full OneDrive fo uh, folder. Now, the cool thing now is that you can share links much easily with OneDrive. So for instance, I have this first uh, folder that says one. I have 19 photos in there. I can, uh, sorry, I can go ahead, uh, select that folder, and I can either delete it, rename it, or of course, share. So view, so share, share link, so people can view or view and edit. So I can go ahead and say, uh, you know what, uh, view and edit, hit OK, get a link. And since this is Android, you can just basically email the link directly, share it on Flipboard, uh, copy all these are all the various ways you can share it so it's a very easy process to actually share your content uh, on there uh, now they do have uh, services where you now have a monthly paid subscription you can pay $4.99 a month for extra 50 gigabyte storage I believe it is $10.99 a month for 100 uh, it's better it's cheaper to just do the year-long plan if you're looking for extra storage on OneDrive um, I, I would suggest that over doing the monthly plan now if you hit the menu button on Android you go into your settings so your general account, you can sign out. So you can sign into multiple accounts. It doesn't let you have multiple accounts at once, but you can sign into the account. So I have camera backup on. I can turn it off. I can include videos for that option or use mobile network if I choose to. So I can go off Wi-Fi if I want to. Uh, photo, photo downloads, original size or resize. I can decide how I want to download those photos and also upload them so that I, I can reduce the amount of space I'm using. Use Office Mobile. Now, um, Office Mobile is not available yet. On Android but that shows that, that that should be coming soon which allows you to use office mobile with this application the version 2.0 help center third-party notices and uh, that's pretty much it on these settings uh, for OneDrive so that's the Android version of the, of the application looking at the Windows phone version of the application don't have an iOS device here right now so you can see here let me just move in a little closer you see I can look at files I can go into recent, recent uh, documents, shared. I can see who I'm shared with and then my files again. Hitting this shows you I can do my change my view. I can add new, I can select, search, create new folder, refresh, and of course go into the settings. Settings, uh, photo upload size, I can change that. Original resize is the same as download. General account information, the, the storage I have on my account, I can sign out, and of course the about information. So it's pretty much it, very basic. On Windows Phone, again, too, you can share folders. So I can go to the AJ's OnePlus. I hold that down, and I have the option to delete, move, share, rename, pin. So I can pin that folder now. So I can definitely do this. I can pin this to my desktop wherever I want, and I have that folder there. Now if I decide to go back, uh, the same folder, I can now hold that down again. And I can move move it, or I can share it, rename it. So if I want to share the same thing. Now I have a couple options. Invite people, uh, get a link, post to social network of your shit. So get a link is the same thing. I basically just send to email and or message or clipboard. Allow editing, yes or no. Cancel out of that. If you do that again. Sorry. Now, the one thing uh, I do prefer on the Android side is that it's just got everything right there in front of you. Invite people, uh, post to social network. Basically, this should open up uh, permissions to post to social network through the uh, the Me tab. So uh, that's pretty much it uh, for OneDrive. 
you know, if you guys have any questions, any comments, let us know. Um, don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. It's all border work. Guys, do you like this video, please share this video and favorite this video so we can make more videos for you. So this is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.